Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you a basic Java syntax in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So let us start writing our first uh, script using uh, Java in Google Earth Engine. So print hello everyone. So make sure that you enter you, you enter this uh, semicolon and uh, now let me execute this uh, script. So go to the option called run and click. So you can see that output of the script is uh, displayed in the console section as a hello everyone. So literally this is our first uh, code in our using Java, JavaScript in Google Earth Engine. So basically uh, JavaScript has uh, several uh, data types. The first it is of a string numbers list and objects and functions now let me explain about strings so uh, generally the strings can be used in uh, double or a single quotations so uh, generally a string is a is a set of or a sequence of character that is used in our javascript for example a test string is a string uh, the google uh, it's a variable and the google earth engine that has been used under single quotes it is a string so it is a character a sequence of words and the string can be used in uh, google earth engine using a single quote notation or you can use a double quotes so here you can able to see that it is a variable with the variable name that is called as a test string and this is called a string the google earth engine suppose if i want to uh, print this uh, google earth engine to my output in the console section make sure that you use a print string test uh, test string a test string is a variable that contains the, the google earth engine in its uh, in this variable so suppose let me show you that let me execute this program so i have selected this uh, section now let me run this so now let me show you once again so this is the variable name called uh, test string we have entered the string called google earth engine so now we'll print test string so what what is going to happen is the test string variable uh, containing google earth engine is going to be displayed using the function uh, using this option using the print uh, test string so now, now let me show you uh, go to the option called run so now you can able to see that in the console section it has displayed as google earth engine so so let me show you the next uh, number so uh, second is our numbers suppose uh, if you want to store a number in a variable so what you have to do is uh, make sure that so suppose you want to store a variable all you have to do is make sure that a variable name uh, called as number is equal to 99 and uh, to display this number now this 99 number it is stored in the variable number so suppose if you want to display this number uh, let me change this number so in this case uh, where now where number is equal to 7 so I want to display this number 7 make sure that you uh, enter as print my answer is number so make sure that you enter the number here represents the 7 the variable number 7 uh, the number here represents the where numbers equal to 7 so now let me run this uh, script so go to the option called run run script and click this so you can able to see that my answer is 7 so now let's uh, le uh, let's go to the next uh, section that is list so the list option is uh, 
So the list option here, that so generally you begin able to display a list of numbers using this uh, list option that is under the square brackets. So now let me uh, So uh, in this list, we have a number ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So suppose I want to uh, want to output this number or print this uh, to a console section. Make sure that uh, you enter print uh, now uh, with the string called as a list of number. So this is a string and uh, list of number and my list. The my list defines the, the series of numbers that is stored in this variable called my list. So now let me uh, run this. Go to the option called run, script and run this. So you can able to see that there is the display in the console section. The list of numbers are from 0, 1, 2, to 5. So suppose you want to display the or make a list of strings. So in this I have uh, made a variable called my uh, list strings. So my uh, list strings are called as containing x, y, z, a, b, c. So suppose I want to print this uh, my string list. Make sure that you uh, print my uh, so this is a string my list of strings and this is our variable called my list of my list strings. So now let me run this. So this uh, let me run this. So you can able to see that in uh, console section, my list of list of strings are are displayed from x to x y z and a b c. So you can able to see that here is a JSON. The Google Earth engines are generally stored in the file format called as a JSON. So remember this. So the next is uh, objects. Objects are uh, objects in JavaScript or the dictionary that can be defined using a curly brackets. So now let me explain about this. So now uh, here, let me uh, define a dictionary using the object. So here we have defined in a uh, dictionary my objects. So here the curly bracket indicates it is a object so you can define any uh, anything so here i have denoted uh, defined as a try and nota as 13 and items equal to uh, that is a country that is county zone and country so here we have a uh, three different variable called one is of uh, this aby that is a string variable and nota here that is is a number an item it is a it's a sequence of or it contains a many strings so now let me uh, display my dictionary so let me run this uh, run the script so here it is displayed in the console section so it is displayed as aby as try an item as a county zone and country and nota as 13 so in this way you can define using the object by using a curly bracket so suppose uh, if you want to access uh, this dictionary items uh, we can use a uh, square brackets so in this way so you can access this any of this uh, the variables using a uh, this square brackets so let me show you that suppose print so print print aby so print is for print aby it is a string and referring to my objects so here this it is a my object and using a square brackets as aby the square bracket indicates of aby here it is try which is going to display the aby using the square brackets so let me run this. So yeah, in the console section, you can see that I print aby. 
uh, it is displayed as try so it can access you can access the the dictionary items this dictionary item using a square bracket So next is an, an, another way to access your dictionary items using a dot notation. So using a dot notation. So you can access by so print print item. So it is a string and uh, my object. My object defines here. There is a variable called my object. So this is our dictionary dot nota. So nota here indicates this nota value. Of 13 so using this function using a dot notation you can also access the dictionary uh, items so now now let me run this so you can see in the console section the print item is equal to 13 so nota has a value of 13 so in this way you can uh, access using uh, you can access your dictionary items using a square brackets or a dot notation so finally we have a uh, functions so the functions are another way to improve the code readability and re re reusability by grouping a set of uh, operations uh, define a function with the function keywords the function name uh, usually starts with a letter and a pair of uh, parentheses at the end so here you can see that it starts with the function, with the letter and with the parenthesis. So basically a function uh, generally it improves the code readability and reusability by grouping a set of operations. So function basically here defined as a variable test equal to a function and an element. And suppose it is a very basic function, and uh, as a return to return this org argument, all you have to do is define a return and element. So in this way, uh, you can uh, use this function's properties. Um, in upcoming videos, I will uh, describe and show you the uh, more functions related operation in upcoming videos. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching.